For decades, brain waves have been used by doctors, by researchers, by clinicians to characterize things like thinking, sleep, and also to identify wh whether or not a patient has a particular brain disease or disorder like epilepsy. But the challenge has been that we've never really understood the relationship between what's happening in those brain waves and what's happening in the individual neurons at the low level of the nervous system. What we've done is built a detailed computer model of a small piece of the brain, the cortical microcircuitry, and that integrates the details of the shape of the neurons, the ion channels, their electrical properties, their connections. And we used this to simulate and to calculate brain waves. And because it's a computer model, and something that we can't do experimentally, we could relate it directly to the activity of all the underlying neurons generating that activity. So with this tool, we can now form a, a much more detailed and much more in-depth understanding of the relationship between individual neurons and the brain waves themselves. This recreates what would happen if you were to actually put an electrode into a piece of tissue in the lab. For decades, there have been two main avenues in neuroscience, one being in vitro, as we call it, neuroscience, done in the Petri dish, very controlled, very structured, where we characterize single neuron characteristics. The other avenue of neuroscience being cognitive behavioral neuroscience, where we look at the, how the brain works at a very high level. Now there is a big gap between the two. The way we decided to look at that, starting five years ago, it uh, was to basically use the Blue Brain modeling facility and models developed here in Switzerland to ask these questions. How do the physics at the single compartment, single neuron level give rise to these large brain waves observed in most mammalians, in most humans? This is why I think this study is quite unique because for the first time we take these computer simulations and try to say something about an observable, which is very typical for very many cognitive, cognitive stakes at the microcircuit level.